Look between the extremely sharp blades of this propeller and you will see a taillight and a California street legal current license plate. Look over here at this gyrocopter looking thingy. It also has taillight, turn signals, and a license plate. So these are in fact street legal flying cars. And this guy has a website. I'll put a link in the description. He is some kind of mad genius. He unfortunately wasn't here and nobody was here to present when I was walking by this thing at the show, but this is actually a Molnar aeroplane. You take the wings off when you get where you're going and then you can drive around in your airplane and then you just pop the wings back in and you fly home. Nothing sketchy going on here. They just bungee them onto the side. And then we're gonna take a look in the cockpit and see the view from the window, there you go. Even a couple of motorcycle uh, mirrors, one switch to turn it on. And in the darkness, bind them. And there's your electric motor that powers that big old propeller, uh, that uh, pedestrian slicer in the back. And here's a look at that gyrocopter. And tried and true Rotax engine is what powers this thing. The, the slicer is in the middle there. Your propeller blades are in the middle, right behind your body. And then the gyrocopter blades are removable and they can strap along the side. You see one strapped along one side and one strapped along the other side there. Not one, not two, not three, but four valves in that Rotax engine. You need as many valves as possible when you're high above the earth in your flying car. So that is pretty much it. Again, look in the description. There's a link to this guy's website. He's serious. He's got a crew of people building these things and this is not a joke, even though I'm kind of roasting it right now. Here's a look at the almighty powerful binders. He's got disc brakes on the front of this thing to slow it down so that you don't rear end anybody with your flying car. So there you go. Fly, drive, do what you like.